following drills are to train and improve the VOR reflex. These drills can be used for individuals with balance, coordination, and vertigo-related disorders. The following four exercises are a progression for VOR training. Exercise number one. While keeping the head still, move your thumb at a slow pace from left to right about the width of your face. Maintain eye contact with that thumb without moving the head. Repeat this process by moving the thumb up and down about the length of your face. Again, keeping the head motionless but maintaining contact of the eyes with the thumb. What we're going to do in exercise number two is now maintain a stable position of your thumb directly in front of your eyes, but move the head from side to side. Again, turning at a slower pace at about a distance as wide from one ear to the next. Repeat this process by moving the head up and down while refraining from movement of the hand and thumb. Exercise number three involves moving both the hand and the head, but moving them in sync with one another. Slowly move the head from left to right while tracing the thumb with your, vision, with your line of sight. Exercise number four is the most complicated and challenging, not only physically but also mentally. For exercise number four, we're going to move both the hand and the head, but we're now going to move them out of sync or opposite of one another. Other considerations of VOR advancement with these four simple exercises revolves around three main concepts. Concept number one is the rate of movement. When starting these drills, you want to move at a rate that is rather slow to prevent excessive stimulation of the VOR reflex. Concept number two involves the distance upon which you're moving your hand and or head. For starters, we want to move through a very, very narrow or very short distance before advancing to wider or longer distances from the, the horizontal or vertical orientation. Concept number three of, revolves around the positioning of your body. You want to start these exercises from a seated, stable position, but then advance to standing positions once stable, performing them in a standing position with maybe a few uh, different options of foot placement, we want to take these drills and advance them ultimately to a walking or a movement-based VOR training.